What is good, boys? It's Puma back at it again with another tutorial, and this time we are covering something very essential to Marvel and all fighting games overall. And it is going to be a spacing tutorial. And I created some names and some graphics for you uh, just for your convenience. So now, if for the record, if we're ever run wondering how do we deal with this, right? Like just zoning. If you're a big body, how do you get in? Or even if you're the zoner, how do you even space around? Well, this tutorial is going to be for you. So let's bring up our zone graphic and let's break it down. So here we go. <clears throat> what we have is broken down into five zones, the different kind of spacing that occurs in this game. And just please note before you roast me in the comments, yes, uh, air is going to be included. But I'm not going to go into detail about air because that's a whole mess of variables that we don't need to cover right this moment. Let's just keep it basic to ground neutral. And this is going to be the spacing for neutral gameplay. So every character utilizes a different kind of zone to help them in with their tools in order to engage or disengage, get the hit, etc. So it boils down to know your character and their resources in order for you to have the best po possibility to get the hit. So when we want to look at an example of this, uh, this looks very different, right? If you go into the deep, deep zone, which is end to end, uh, you're going to notice Morgans always play from this kind of area compared to someone like Tron or Hulk or Hagar, a big body. They're going to want to try to go in to the closed zone, one zone apart, right? And the biggest problem with this, let's just reset it here. The biggest problem with this is uh, well, I see a lot of newer Tron players just trying to drill. And you see how that doesn't hit. I'm now in the mid zone and they're still in the deep zone, two zones apart. Where if you were to reset the game, it's basically the same distance. We are now mid zones apart, two zones apart. So in order to utilize this zone properly, if you notice, if you dash now you just close the distance of the zone uh by that much so now if you were to drill you actually get the hit this is a very basic and important concept to note um, because a lot of players don't do this a lot of hulk players for example would just gamma charge in and hope for the best um uh, same thing with a lot of people a lot of tron players would just drill and hope for the best so what you want to do is utilize these zones and figure out okay how many zone spaces do i need to actually get this hit um, if I wanted to do a, something like a Hail Mary or on the flip side, if I'm, um, let's say if I'm Dormammu, right? And what zone do I need to be in to land successful zoning with a pillar um, or maybe get some kind of flame carpet setups and stuff like that, right? Um, so I'll be setting up a video as well to for every single character just so you guys could get like the basics of uh, their strengths and weaknesses. Um so yeah, so this, that's pretty much uh, the concept of what these zones are. And so if you could utilize the zoning, um, you'll get the hit pretty cleanly uh, and more consistently. So let's show you a few examples. Let's hop right in one moment. Okay. So I have a couple examples of live tournament footage, uh, some for myself, some from professionals, some from classic matches like f champ uh just to show you how this works and we'll keep this zone graphic up the whole time so you can see what i'm talking about so this one was actually last night's tns me versus mario on stream uh dude is just talented and he got the hit here and this is to actually highlight one of his wolverine plays that he did really well so as i get the kill and hit here on spider-man what happens is um i try to lock him down with dormammu and even though I'm full screen, he understands that if he jumps and blocks the ball with no advancing guard, he actually stays closer in zones and spacing uh, to my characters. So I was thinking he would run like everyone else, but he didn't. So I hard tag Doom, and then immediately we're in the mid zone. We're two zones apart. And this is scary because one of Wolverine's biggest strengths is to be in this mid zone or the close zone 
so he can get a good berserker slash into into his supers x factor etc he takes over from there um so very well played on his part and so because i panicked i could i could have still been safe but because i panicked i actually jumped and butter gunned thinking he would just jump away and be scared but he wasn't he popped super and i actually called assist he gets happy birthday and this should be the end of the game right here so that's just a quick example of how um zones could work for a wolverine player and how could it could be bad for someone who zones like dormammu or doom so let's go into one of the more classic matches f champ versus kbr at winter brawl so i guess just pay attention here to one how magneto wants to play into big bodies he wants to get out he wants to move right so he wants to stay into the Z in the deep zone as much as possible sometimes he characters like magneto he's gonna want to mix it up characters like him are actually strong in all zones um but you're gonna see with when he's playing phoenix he's gonna try to keep running and stay in the deep zone and so pay attention to how kbr um plays hulk to try to stay in the close zone at least one or two zones apart for mix-ups command grabs super armor tools etc so here we go champ patient off the rip flies away but the whole time he was in the air, KBR is still dashing under him. And now that he was one zone apart, he caught the whiff off the Magneto in the air and was able to get a Gamma Charge here. So, you know, once we're already in the corner, that's, to me, this is kind of the end of it. Because set play should take over from here. You should get the hit on Doom, you should snap Phoenix, um, etc. So, that will be for a different video. Oh, he drops, okay. So, as you can see, Doom's trying to get away. And uh, KBR, just one, two zones apart the whole time. And he doesn't go for any risky uh, deep zone gamma charges here. He only does gamma charge when he's backed by drones. Um, when he's like one to two zones apart. That's making it a lot cheaper. You saw even, Doom even got the hit. It didn't even matter. <laughs> because the zone, the uh, drones were protecting him. Yep. Okay. So he gets the hit. He should He should be able to kill Phoenix there. So that's the end of that example. Uh, you know, and I'm, I'm going to uh, put the links to all these videos, too, in the uh, comments. So you guys could just watch the matches if you guys feel nostalgic. So in this one, this is actually Milky versus full screen in one of the TNS's uh, videos many weeks ago, many months ago. I forgot which one it was. But um, just check out here how a Morgan versus, with missiles plays against a Magneto. So on both ends, right? Uh, let me pause right here and just kind of explain some of the game plan here because this is very uh, technical and it will be very fast paced. So here, both players want to be in the deep zone. Morgan especially, Morgan missiles, she's going to want to be in the deep zone and spam. Uh, she Morgan's a type of character, uh, she does have tools in all zones and all situations, but her best primary game plan is going to be in the deep zone spamming soul fist. Now, Mil Milky knows this and he determines, okay, um... I'm going to also be in the deep zone because I could stop missiles, I could stop her projectiles, and I'm going to force him to use meter on astral vision. So you notice every time he's in the deep or mid zone, many zones apart, he's actually going to spam uh, doom assist and spam disruptor. And then whenever he does push in dash by dash, inch by inch, he's going to utilize jam session to kind of keep the lockdown, keep a mix up. Or just to say, get off me, let me reset the situation and go back to the deep zone. So let's watch that all play out here. Uh, here we go. So we pop Astral. Milky's close. He backs up. Again, I, I think full screen kind of messed up with uh, calling the air sulfus here. He should do a little more grounded, but uh, it's okay. He, he has his own way of patterning uh, the sulfus. So here we go. A lot going on. Lots of uh, deep zone movement. Even full screen's trying to press up a little bit because he doesn't have meter. So he's like, okay, let me go to the close zone. Let me see what I could do with my uh, with my strange assist. Milky just playing it well. We have two bars. Of course, uh, Morgan beats that with her DP super. And now it's just a different matchup. We know Doom is kind of useless against magneto so milky immediately just presses him um caught him on the x factor pop and everything so this should just be game 
Uh, of course, human error comes into play. We're playing deep zone again. Disruptor, disruptor, shockwave, double trigger. Now we go to close zone, get a mix up, and it works. Um, with teleporting characters, I guess this is a little bit on Dante too. Teleporting characters, they could utilize um, tech from the deep zone and the close zone since they could just get in on you instantly. Um, so again, that's more variables to come into play. This is more for, I guess, the basics. Hey, I want to get in or hey, I want to keep somebody out kind of thing. So yeah, this should just be set play from here. Uh, again, feel free to watch the rest, rest of that next time. Here's another example with yours truly. Um, I play my Tron team against a classic Viper team um, offline at my local here. And so what happens is with Tron, you know, fight starts. Everyone thinks... You know, she's probably going to be in the deep zone and all she wants to do is get into the closed zone or the mid zone to land a drill. You just want to get in their face and start pressing buttons, right? Um, more experienced Tron players will tell you that that's not always the case. And you actually want to use her tools for someone who's trying to rush you down and you stop them. So immediately, I want to be one to two zones apart so I can call out Disruptor or Dark Hole safely and then I could get a mix off of those assists. And then I can use my Gustav Fire for any anti-air. So when Strider or Vajras come down or uh, Viper try dashing. So as I press play here, you're going to see that come into play. You see she immediately tries to jump in and Gustav stops her and my and the assist. And then I get a free uh, punish there. Um, turn this to scrambles. Um, I get a TAC here um, because why not? And then, you know, we get a gravity squeeze. Hard tag Tron back in. But that's just an example of like Tron's gameplay. She's a big body, but she doesn't always just need to press you all the time. Sometimes it's more about this counter play. And so for the rest of the set, it's just gonna be set play. So we don't need to go into that. And then the last example I have here, uh, this is same venue, Vortex, shout out to them. Um, this is gonna be conceded versus the same Viper player. And one thing I have to note about it, again, it's gonna be another Wolverine. One thing uh, that really caught my eye to like really just get the inspiration to even make this video was how he was playing around the zones. I would assume Wolverine, I'm not a Wolverine player, so this is just my assumption. I would assume that he would naturally be in the deep zone or something like that, right? Round start from the opponent running away. And he would want to rush you down, <laughs> right? He's going to want to rush you down into the close zone, um, close zone and be in the mid zone, try to cross up. But the way Conceited plays, he's in and out. He, You see how he's backing up, dashes forward, gets a Berserker Slash, um, just constantly in and out. So he's rushing down, goes for a grab here, doesn't work, doesn't believe in his light, so he backs up. Backs up two, three zones away. Backs up, goes all the way full screen again, gets his assist ready, and then dashes back in, and then crosses up two zones away. Didn't quite work, but now that he's under him, he gets a free punish on Dante there. Again, backs up, zones, dashes forward, Berserker Slash. It works. So this was amazing to me. This this was sick. Probably some of the sickest uh, Wolverine play I've, I've, I've seen. Um, just utilizing the different, like his different spacing dashes with beam in order to get those hits was amazing doesn't work back up dash in get the hit probably x factor here or something so um yeah pretty much that's the consensus consensus of all of this guys i hope this helps uh next video i should put out um i'm working on my tron tutorials now but i'm looking to see if i can get uh kind of like the zone resources for you guys for every single character so stay tuned for that and i'll catch y'all later thanks